I want to talk a little about what distinguishes us from uh, some of the other schools in the market. All of these names you see here, these are not people that fly in from the U.S. or fly in from the U.K. They do fly in from Budapest. But this is our faculty, our staff faculty. They're based, most of them, in Budapest at our parent university, Central European University. And they are our employees. They teach for us. They're not borrowed from somewhere else. They are coming in specifically knowing what it is we're doing. And I also wanted to show a balance here. We have these PhDs from some great universities of Yale, Harvard, Oxford, Pennsylvania, Wharton, Montreal. But also, as you get down here, even though these are some good names, we've got some good companies. These are people like Ken, who's worked 25 years in supply chain management. He's actually been there and done that. And I know that in MBA, that's what's important for the students, is don't tell me how it's supposed to be done. Come in here and tell me how you actually did do it. Because that's what we want to discuss, discuss is reality, not fantasy. So uh, you can find more lists of our professors, but these are the ones that you'll see. These are the ones that are actually here teaching for us. And uh, what's important about all of them is that they have global experience, whether they've been at a Western university or worked with Western companies, but in addition, they know the local context of doing business in Bucharest. Because I don't care what anybody tells you, there's no similarity at all between doing business in Vienna and doing business in Bucharest. Those are two different worlds. Tell me, what's changed in Vienna in the last 350 years? Now let's compare what's changed in Romania in the last 15 years, 20 years. It's a different thing to teach business for Romanians in the Romanian context and across the Central Eastern Europe, and for teaching business for business people in Boston or New York or London or Paris. Those are different business environments. And our teachers know that context and know how to bring it to you. Uh, our admissions criteria, you can also find it here. This is another important factor. An MBA is not just the teacher sitting in front. As you saw, especially in Ken's class tonight, he was at, interacting with you. It's not just about somebody spitting their knowledge out and you just recording it and remembering it well. It's about the interaction. But a key factor in that interaction is who are you actually interacting with. Now, this audience today is partially screened. We know your names from different sources. Either you've given us your names in the past or we've seen you in the orbit of what may be interesting. So you've partially self-screened. But an MBA class is screened because it is about the learning that takes place between the people next to you. So when we're accepting people in the MBA program, we're asking, is this somebody that I'd want to sit next to in class for two years? Is this somebody that I would actually gain some benefit or knowledge from for two years? Or are they just going to sit there and suck knowledge and benefit out of us from two years? Because we expect everybody in the classroom to be bringing something to the table. So that's why we have a very rigorous admissions process, which goes through an application, but includes a motivational essay, includes a, an interview, letters of recommendation, GMAT scores, you have to take the English language scores, and we can give you more details about that if you're interested. So just the overall conclusions. I've said one of the things that makes us different as a university is I believe our faculty. Western trained faculty know the context of doing business here. Another thing that makes us different is our selective admission. We want to make sure that people in class with you are actually bringing value to everything we're doing. But the final thing I like to say that really differentiates us is CEU, Central European University, is a school that was founded because of a mission. Most state universities exist because the state says, you know what, we need a business school, so let's start a business school. Or you have others that are private enterprises. Somebody says, you know what, I can make a lot of money by running a business school. Let's open a business school. We opened for neither of those reasons. We opened in 1988. George Soros decided there needs to be good quality Western business training in Central Eastern Europe. Since he's from Central Eastern Europe, he had a passion for this part of the world. And so he founded the CEU Business School, which at the time was the International Management Center in Budapest in 1988. Now, if you look at your little mental calendar, you'll see 1988 was a year before the changes. So he had his foot on the ground even before the changes were coming. But it remains that our mission for being here, and I'll just read it, is to provide a new model for international education to address issues of globalization, their implications, to be a source of teaching and analysis on the building of open and democratic societies, respect human rights. And that's the overall mission of Central Eastern European University, our parent university. In addition, we bring the factors of business and doing business, training the people to be leaders in the community in an ethical fashion, that have an eye to corporate social responsibility, that have an eye to environmental issues, the whole aspects of what it is to not only look at your shareholders, but to consider all the stakeholders.
And that's what our mission is. In addition, we're New York University. It happens to be located in Central Europe. We don't partner with another university. We are the university. When we need to get accredited, the people from the Department of Education fly here to accredit us. We have to meet all the same standards as Columbia University, NYU, any other university licensed to issue degrees in New York. Global knowledge in local context, and we're proud of the number one program in Romania.